Okay, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to take you through a day in my life as a bioinformatics research associate in New York City. So I normally set my alarm for 7.40 in the morning. I'll wake up, get ready, and aim to leave for work at around quarter past eight. I live kind of downtown Manhattan and I work in the Upper East Side of Manhattan so I have to get the train uptown. My commute is normally about 30 minutes and so I get to work at around quarter to nine. This is what my building looks like from the outside. My lab's based on the 12th floor so I'll get the elevator up and you get a really nice view of downtown Manhattan from the lunch area. Once I reach my desk, the first thing I'll do is plan my day. So basically just write a to-do list down in my diary and also catch up on some emails. I'll then make myself a coffee. My working day usually starts at 9 a.m. I have a Zoom call with my lab first thing where we just briefly talk about what we did the previous day and what our plan is for the current day. Once the meeting's over, I'll get cracking on my work. So the work I have to do varies, but I'd usually start the morning doing some coding for a couple of hours. I may be building computational pipelines or running certain bioinformatics analyses. It kind of just depends on what needs to be done that day. Around about half 10, I'll stop working and have breakfast. So for breakfast, I normally just have um, a Huel shake. It's like a meal replacement shake. Um, it's high in protein, um, good micronutrient profile. I've been having that for about a year at this point and yeah, I really love it. Then I'll work for another two to three hours before taking my lunch break. So one of the great things about where I work is it's only a block from Central Park. So oftentimes I will go for a walk in the park um, and it's a good way to stretch my legs and get away from the computer screen for a while. I'd say it's only two minutes from the building I work in, so it's very convenient and there's lots of nice things to see. I don't go to the park every day, but probably twice a week, I'll go on a 15 to 20 minute walk, maybe listen to a podcast or some music and just enjoy the outdoors. I usually have lunch around 2 p.m. So I actually make my own lunch. I do like a meal prep um, where every Sunday I'll cook a load of food in bulk um, put it in Tupperware and just eat that throughout the week. So normally it's like something boring like chicken and rice. Um, and I pretty much eat the same things most days, most lunch times. After lunch I normally work for another few hours. I sometimes have meetings in the, in the afternoons whether it's one on one with my PI or uh, lab meetings or journal clubs. It kind of depends on, um, on the day. I'll normally finish work around six and then I'll get the train home. You often get a nice view of the sunset from the 12th floor. On the way home, if I need to pick up any groceries, I'll just stop by Trader Joe's, which is just a few minutes from where I live. This is like the cheapest groceries you can find in Manhattan, pretty much. I'll reach home about quarter to seven. Um, I'll unpack and just get changed out of my work clothes. And then I'll normally eat something. Um, I usually go to the gym in the evening. So today I just ate a, a bagel with banana and peanut butter, it's my favorite. It's a good pre-workout snack. And then I'll kind of chill out for an hour or so, watch some TV or work on some of my own stuff. And then in the evening, uh, around half past eight, I'll head to the gym, I'll work out for an hour. I usually go to the gym three days a week, and I'll normally do a full body workout on all, all three of those days. So after the gym, I'll come home, shower up, um, probably have something to eat or just have a protein shake um, and by this point it's probably like 10 o'clock um, and then I'll just be relaxing hanging out with my roommates watching some TV or or whatever and then I'll aim to head to bed around 11 30. So that's pretty much it that's like my average day in the life of a bioinformatics research associate in New York. 
If you've got any questions for me, just leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.